Speech, speech. This is not my area of expertise, and I do a lot of speech, a lot of lectures, and this is family speech. Chase, this party is for you. He said you didn't have any family in Detroit, or uh, very little of it, and it's all partly here, right? This very, very second. Um, of that of that generation, okay, and, and my cousin Izzy, your grandfather, uh, my cousin Herbie, uh, and his progeny. Um, of that generation, I'm the youngest one. Uh, there were five sisters and two brothers. Uh, we all came across from Russia in the 1920s, 30s. Uh, uh, my uncle, uh, Izzy, was the patriarch senior member of that family. Came here himself, made his fortune, and he brought all of his sisters and brothers to follow. Uh, and they all settled in the, in the Detroit area. Or the Windsor area. Um, my auntie Mary was the oldest uh, woman. I married uh, Uncle Malcolm. I uh, had three kids. I think I would do that. Sharon, you have to correct me as I go along. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> had three kids. A lot of them came here illegally. <laughs> A lot of them came here illegally, yeah. My grandmother came here. My, all my mother came here. My mother. Uh, Her mother did too. My mother uh, could not get into the, into the United States. Got into Canada and got smuggled on the Pablo boat. Came in on the Canadian side. And they found a the husband, forced to marry to get a citizenship. That was my father, Hyman or Hyman. Um, um, my uncle. I remember you, this is going back now, 60, 70 years now. Um, and my auntie uh, Mary had Uncle Nachman had a uh, delicatessen on downtown Detroit. Uh, he had Norman, Leon, Rosie, and, and Albert. Just to clarify, he also had the pastrami on that day. <laughs> Yes. And they've all passed on. Is that how we so there, were, there was that another Urban? Yeah, so <laughs> oh, that's good. One who was like institutionalized. Yeah, it was Stormy. No. Mark, uh, wow. Ma Mark, 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 and they thought he was disabled. I heard he was dyslexic. Something. And, they put him and I heard that's where Martin Place Hospital was people. Yep. <laughs> 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 Martin Place Street crossed the street. 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 Martin Place Street um, they've all, they're still alive. Um, um, uh, Lucille is in Cambridge. Uh, Cronky is someplace in California. And uh, Miriam is still in New York. Uh, there was my Auntie Haya. Uh, and their kids were, you may help me out with um, Cyril. Herb, <laughs> Herbert, Cyril, Cyril uh, Solomon, and... Uh, uh, Esther Molly. Esther Molly. Yes. Uh, and uh, that generation, the only person who asked me, Esther Molly. Correct. And uh, my house is in just a part of the family. All my kids would talk. And my sister's there at her bedside right now. Um, and there was uh, who else? Even if, uh, Uncle Auntie Sora, Uncle Archie, Harold. Uh, um, they had, right, they had, 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 they had
and it had the uh, uh, Frida. Frida, thank you, Mayor. Uh, awesome. That was uh, uh, Harold, yeah. Harry Kowal, Beatrice, and Alvin. And they are all long gone. Ah, I remember, I'm the youngest in a whole generation. And then there's my mother and father, and there was. Uh, you got to say the names. Come on. Look, look at this. Years I later, no one will remember. Exactly. I will And your mother was a matriarch. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and she's uh, and now trying to make me the patriarch. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do the work. You're now, you're stuck doing it for a while. That's it. And then, uh, who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? This is the old tradition. Who's ready? There's, uh, there's uh, David Kowal's. Um, oh, the other Jerry Kowal. The other is Jerry Kowal. The other Jerry Kowal. Who, who are yeah, Ivan and uh, Ivy's children? Higher Kowal. Right. Oh, their children. They're, they're, uh, they're here. <laughs> no, Tybo and Jaime's children. Yeah. Molly. Auntie Tybo. Yes. My sister. Yes. My brother. And Shlomo. Uh, so. uh, Esther Molly. The third Esther Molly. Yes. 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 Um, yeah, um, yeah, Esther Molly was a nickname for Esther. Uh, Jerry Cole and uh, uh, Alvin. No, 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 the other, the other Jerry. He was the one in the front of everybody over here. And they had Jerry Cole and Mayor Cole. Wait a minute, I didn't hit the record button. Can you start <laughs> over? <laughs> Once more, easy. And Mommy should have been here. I agree. This is her job, not my job. I'm a generation guy. I know you have to hold together. I'm a of all the people. There's not a lot of white guys. That is true. Again, I'm the Well, thank you for thank you for doing and bringing all of us together like this. This was very nice. Very nice. Take the next generation down, Keith, where are you? Right there. Discuss the Cobalt, the Gold Bomb plant. Oh, my God, I'm on the spot. What do you want to know? Meyer Gold Bomb Skids. Skids, okay. Meyer Gold Bomb Skids. Yes, sir. Okay, so they're... Alan is in Vegas, honestly not doing real well. Brianna is in Vegas. Her husband, Bob, just passed away about two weeks ago. Uh, let me think. Who else are we talking about? Richard, Rick, Ricky, Elliot, whatever his name was. This was, by the way, part of the family. Everyone had two names, and you weren't sure which one to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's Richard Elliot. I think he lives in Meyer's old yes. place in uh, Hollandale, Florida. I'm not sure what he's up to these days. Uh, retired. Ian, fully retired. So Ian's the one that I talk to the most. He's a podiatrist down in Delray Beach, Florida. And uh, his big thing now is flying. He, uh, he flies around in his new plane that he just bought. Uh, let's see, did I miss anyone? Oh, uh, Stuart Avery, who used to be a gold bomb, but didn't want to be a gold bomb anymore, and he changed his name to Gold. He's the only Stuart Gold. Uh, he uh, lives very close to me, but he's like a hermit. He stays up all night, sleeps all day, and uh, I don't know what he does. He does. Uh, he writes books like about frogs and uh, things of this sort. Oh, he's the writer. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. And uh, let's see, who else am I missing? What, what, what else do here? So, okay, you want to have Sonia had, uh, as you know, uh, three kids. Michael passed away from congenitive heart disease, and he refused to see any doctors. Anyone in this room probably could have fixed him up, but he... That's why he never came to any of the parties. That's right. So he passed away young. And uh, then there's Alan, who I see regularly. Uh, Alan lives in Toronto, um, and uh, he has a place in Palm Beach, Florida, which is where I see him a couple times every year. Uh, okay, Facebook does it for everyone. Well. <laughs> Except for Keith. Yeah, I'm the only person not on social media. Anyway, so Alan, let's see, go through the list. Oh, unfortunately, there's the other one. There's Honey Robin, who is somewhere in California, hiding out. Rhonda's the only one I know that talks to her. Um, let's see. I mean, how, do you want to go down further generations? Or I guess maybe we'll go to Esther Molly, the other Esther Molly. Um, yeah, the one that buried a couple of husbands before she checked out herself. Um, that's why we just had her tombstone. Molly Silvershine, that's the one, yes. So, yeah, she passed quite some time ago. She left us two kids. Moshe is still in Israel, 
in Jerusalem. Uh, I talk to him regularly, and then he has an older sister, Barbara, that's in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, and she has two kids, and Moshe and Israel has two kids. One is married, and let's see. Well, Tell us about Izzy's kids. Which is he? How is he? Uh, oh, my dad. Well, I, I think I'm one of those kids, am I not? I don't know. Yes. There's three of us. One, two, three. See, we're all right here. Name names. We're names. We're all sure. names. Name names. Rhonda. Yeah, some of them have, uh, some of my, uh, I have two kids, one of which is right over there, Chase. Yeah. And the other one is uh, home in warm, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. And uh, Roger is right there. He has three kids, all of whom are present today. All raise your hands. And uh, Rhonda has three kids, but uh, none of them are here today. So, um, in closing so, arguments. In closing arguments. <laughs> in conclusion, Stephen always wanted to be an attorney. In conclusion, I would have to say that every time I just told you guys this, every time I visit my personal internist once a year. He goes past the 11.2 minutes he's supposed to have spent with me and spends about an hour talking about how he was trained by Harold Margolis at the old Martin Place Hospital. And he told me lots of Martin Place stories. So I don't, I don't need to come here to know everything that I can find out. I, I really missed being in that older generation. I have a feeling it was way more colorful. Am I wrong? Was it way more colorful? Grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> You're right, I like this generation. There was more trouble in the old days, that's true, yeah. More trouble, but more color. So tell me what else I'm supposed to say. I don't want to overstay my welcome here. That's it, you did great. Okay. Okay. Better than we thought. Much better than we thought. Stand up. <laughs> no, I, I know I got old, I arrived. All right, so you had uh, my Bobby Mendelson, uh, my AD Fred. Uh, they came down, they had Herbie, they had uh, my Aunt Molly, my Uncle Sal, Cyril. And, uh, and Cyril. Uh, so my family, uh, my dad had uh, Diane, who was, who was his favorite daughter. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> who was his favorite daughter? Um, so there was me. <laughs> uh, there's Jeffrey and Stephen, who's behind the camera for good reason. Uh, we all became uh, physicians. Uh, we all had the privilege of living close to my parents, all in Huntington Woods, and started, not started, extended something really magical that was there. It started initially uh, with uh, Leon, who had the first house in Huntington Woods. It was a very attractive neighborhood. Sharon was always interested in moving in there, and then she started the next generation of everybody moving in. I didn't say you were buying expensive houses. She did say you had to buy expensive houses. Don't listen to her. But at one point, a great percentage of our family was living there, and it was a really golden magic area. Era. Uh, my parents ultimately lived in four houses from Stephen, who lived two houses from Diane, who lived around the block from Jeffrey, and I lived about six blocks from here. Uh, and our, our families grew up, all the kids were great. Um, here today is my wife, Lauren, Jeffrey and his wife, Anne. Diane and Don and uh, Stevie and Alice just arrived here. So our families continue to expand in the medical world and whatnot. I was going to say, so now you got to cover the Sal thing and then we have uh, Sharon cover. So there's the Sal <laughs> thing. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessary to cover. Hey, oh, come on, you got Sal Mendelssohn. Tell her. Yeah, hmm? Sal hmm? Mendelssohn. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> uh, my uncle Sal passed away when he was uh, just Turn 65 or something. Yes, I think you can see the youngest of that generation. He was two weeks older than I was. Your mother breastfed both of you. Yes. So this is color commentary by Sharon. Yes. I mean, we grew up together. We saw all the fights, all the things. He was my best friend. He was. We were the youngest of the inner generation. When they were all doing their things, we were in the backyard playing. They were having fun. Once in a while, one or two of them would get in trouble. Now and then, Sal uh, ultimately found his way out to California. My dad was was devastated when Sal passed away because his whole life he was Sal's advocate and uh, worshipped his ability to fix and do things. And whenever Sal got in trouble, my dad was always there trying to uh, 
to help them recover them and, and protect them. Um, the problem with Sal is he got mixed up in the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mixed up in the horses world. Yeah, so he's married to Lean. He had uh, Randy and Craig. Had, uh, Randy and Craig were uh, uh, members of the family and potential kidney donors at one point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sharon, you you got to take uh, you got to take your family and and uh, oh wait. You got to stand up. Oh, he's got you on it. So our family uh, is here present in uh, West Bloomfield, Birmingham area. Um, there's my brother, Michael. His crew is uh, Max and Allie. His wife is Amy, who just uh, left. Uh, my wife is uh, Jennifer, who some of you met. She's also just uh, left. I have three daughters. One of them is Annalise, who's in high school. I have an older daughter that's Amanda. She's at uh, Michigan doing a master's degree. And I have a, a daughter, uh, Abigail, who's in uh, New Orleans um, at Tulane. I've got a sister who's in San Francisco. Um, she's married to uh, Josh. They're now with Denbergs. we got to have the sister's name. Sister doesn't cut it. Sister is Dawn. <laughs> there you go. And then she's, <laughs> she's a journalist. Sharon, do, do you know here? We didn't get the Sharon crew. One sec, Carol. So I had a, a pretty long lunch with your sister about two months ago. And she told me at great length that your house growing up was a house of open doors and people spending time. And it was because Molly would let anyone stay at her apartment in New York. And she said that's how they were raised. People always came and stayed at that house. And it was a very festive and a happy, just a joyous place. And, uh, it was kind of nice to hear. It was when I grew up on 2754 Glendale. My grandparents lived in that same house for all five sisters and all every <coughs> Sunday the whole family. That was Bobby Cole? What? Bobby Cole? Your Bobby Cole? Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 they lived with him for the first until he died. That was known as the White House, wasn't it? Yes. That's well, how I feel. Sisters we have, have to go to the White House. <laughs> I want you to get you get your mother's Cyril. Come on, and Molly. My mother was Cyril Lois Mendelson Cooper. She family, the generation you guys kind of might have known her. She felt family was what life was all about. She was the quiet one. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because my grandchildren are all shy. She was very shy, but they said she'll get by, and she outgrew it obviously. So she she guys she felt family was was what it was all about. And then you know in this family there was some kind of feuding, there was, you know, what destroys family? Money. And at the generation above you. But my mom, it didn't stop her. It did not stop her. She really felt- Who did she marry? She married my father, Sam Cooper. Mm -hmm. He was from Windsor. And he had a brother, Ben Cooper. And um, she, we, she married my dad and she had three children. There's me, I'm the youngest, I have two brothers. Philip Cooper and Norman Cooper, and she raised us, they raised us, and um, everything was about family, it was. I think that's it. I think that's all about your whole career. Yeah. My whole <laughs> Okay, you know, uh, my um, three wonderful kids, Anastasia, Nathan, wife, Samantha, Eric, girlfriend, Jane, um, and, and you're missing one. Where's Ella? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> and the There you go. And purple grandma. That's right. Purple grandma. And purple grandma is uh, still not uh, kicking in Florida. And That's Adrian Goldbaum. Every Sunday, she's going to be upset that it doesn't come this Sunday, but she doesn't. She, I don't know if she'll get on the plane again. So, Chase. <laughs> Did you take notes? <laughs> it's all right. I got it all right here. It'll be up on the YouTube channel before you know it. Before you know it. This is a new poem that I heard a couple of years ago. She doesn't want to 
This isn't Michael Bond. This is Charlie Goldbaum. She has hey, Charlie. Charlie right. Goldbaum over here. Very new Goldbaum. Three months old. Who's that? Carter. That's Carter Goldbaum. This is your family. Yeah. You got more of a turnout. I learned so much. And my wife, Corey, of course, is another Goldbaum. <laughs> All right. Let's let's see. It's enough talking. I can't keep track of it all now. <laughs> yes. All right. So did Aunt Molly. Yeah, Aunt Molly. And, 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 I, and I, did a, I did like a chart. Everyone that grew up eating that ended up either passing young or having severe neurological diseases. All the other people with the same DNA, like brother, sister, sibling that they never ate it because they, they didn't get the problem. So, it's in the three you, know, it? you don't believe in the theory? I, I do not believe in the theory. Yes, true. I think they were eating it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I believe in the theory. 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 76 when he passed, but he was on it at least the last 10 years of his life. Yeah, you were eating it as long as I was. What were the findings? What? You, what did the findings, the brain findings? Do you want me to give it to you? I still have a copy of no, it. Just tell us. Just you know, draw us a picture. No, I mean, yeah. You're going to be able to know what it's called. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> say, say that. But you can send it to him because you say it uh, does say that. Well, what do you think it says? I don't know. I, I, I don't it. it says basically he's dead because his brain has been removed from his head. I know that. Yeah, yeah, not very <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't use the word dimension. I'll yeah. tell you what's going on. That's a dimension. That's clear. That's how David looked before the dimension. I know. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.